We are now going to create a form punch for this final draw station. And we'll do it in context of the tool assembly. I'll select the form punch function. First thing it's asking for is to select the formed area on the strip. I'll just use the logo press filters to hide the tool. And I'll just select the tangent faces on the top of the part. Whatever faces that are selected, a surface will be created to cut the end of the punch off. I'll name the punch a draw punch. Set my material in heat treatment. Uh, I will then put focus in here. This is to select the base face of the punch. So now I'll show the upper half of the tool. And that will be the, the base face will be the underside of the punch shoe. Then I will uh, change the punch type to a 3D punch and select punch body sketch definition. It puts me into a sketch and normal to the sketch looking down from the top. And I will just start sketching in lines for the perimeter of that punch. And as you can see, I'm staying within the outside perimeter of the faces I had selected. And this is because if I had drawn it outside the perimeter, LogoPress would have to extend the surface of those faces. And because of the in the uh, shape of the outside perimeter being having convex shapes or concave shapes, I should say, uh, it's not going to be able to extend those faces easily. And probably in this case, not at all. So I will keep it within that perimeter. Now I'm going to show my sketches and use these vertical and horizontal center lines that LogoPress gives us to dimension this punch. I'm going to use a LogoPress sketch tool called Convert for Construction to convert that horizontal line and these two vertical lines. And then I'll place some dimensions there to there. And then also up to here. And then also there okay so i got the basic the outside the basic outside perimeter dimensioned and I can exit the sketch and logo press will extrude the punch. And then when it attempts to cut the end of the punch off using that surface, you can see it gives me a warning saying that the surfaces are too complex to extend. Well, that's because of this area right here up on the sidewall. It can't extend that out. It doesn't know what, what to patch that in with. So I'm just going to select OK and let it create the punch anyways. There, the punch is created, but it wasn't able to cut the end of the punch off using that surface. So I'm going to open up that punch. 
I'll show the surface body. And you see most of the punch is within the faces except for this area. So what I'm going to do, first I'll take and delete that cut extrude feature, or surface cut feature I should say. And I'll hide the surface body. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the shape of, this, of the surface by cutting it away so we don't have all this jaggedness here. So I'm going to place a sketch here and then a rectangle from here over to about here. And then I'll use a SOLIDWORKS surfacing tool called Trim Surface to set it to remove this, this, and this. And now I'll use the Extend Surface function to extend these faces up to a point. Right there, you can see there's our preview. Click OK. There, we've cleaned up the surface. I'll show the solid body again. And now I'll use this surface to create a new surface cut feature. There we go. I will take and hide that surface body. And there's our shape. And now I just need to square up the punch. And I'll use a direct editing tool in SOLIDWORKS called Delete Face. Select these corner faces. Set it to delete and patch, select OK. There, our corners are squared off. I'll save this. Return to the tool assembly. And now I just have to ex uh, make the punch bigger, extend these faces out. And to help me with that, I'm going to select this station of the strip and use a logo press tool called show hide it oh, uh, show hide the previous step and there you can see this station is now previewed on this station and we need to make the punch big enough to cover the flange of that incoming station so I'll take and click on and edit this uh, punch in context of the tool Edit part, and then I'll use a direct editing tool called Move Face, and I'll select this face right here, and I'll just drag this arrow out until it's big enough to cover, and then I'll just fine tune this, drag it out a little bit more, to a nice even number, click OK. And I'll use move face again on this side. Drag that arrow again out to oh, about there. And uh, I'll, again, I'll just uh, fine tune the distance. Move this face. A little bit too far. There we go. And I'll do the same thing over here.
or I've extended the faces of the punch and I can now get out of edit mode, return to the tool assembly. I don't need this preview anymore, so I'll select the station and hide that preview. I'll show the rest of the tool. And there we have the, uh, the form punches complete for that final draw station.